Okay, good morning. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. This is Marlon here uh, once again for an amazing video. And today I bring to you this 2020 Freightliner Summit Hauler Conversion M2106. Come on in and I'm going to show you guys what this truck is all about. Welcome guys, welcome to this awesome Freightliner uh, designed by uh, our store here at uh, TransWest. Um, this is the Summit Hauler Conversion and today I just want to bring to you this one. Um, it's a very unique uh, design with the uh, brown leather interior and the tan um, outlines as well with the wood-like uh, dash um, covers here as well. Um, Again, guys, we, uh, we just have a few 2020s left. Um, we're about in, we're in, in the stage of building our 2021s, so uh, look out for that. So as we continue selling those big boys here, I'm just gonna show you a few things you should want to know about these uh, Freightliners inside, and we're gonna go outside and show you what it looks, well, you guys saw before uh, Cherry Scented, um, we hooked up to a uh, Cimarron toy hauler with living quarters in um, on the back here and we'll kind of uh, see what it looks like again outside in a minute. So with this uh, Freightliner um, we all have air ride seats in the front for passenger and driver so you could actually feel that um, that bounce when you're actually driving and kind of gives you that comfort you know going into potholes and all the different uh, bad roads uh, we tend to go into. Um, so as we could just pan over here, this is our air ride control. Pulling it up actually raises it and pulling it down actually decreases the air. It does have heated and cooling seats on here as well. So that's something you guys will enjoy um, at cool weathers or hot weather. Um, lumbar system as well. Controls are right here as well. So it's a very, very comfortable seat compared to our competitors out there. And I like to show people that, you know, the comfort behind the wheel actually is pretty awesome um, when it comes to the driver you have the tilted steering wheel you could actually you know put it the way you want it with a, with a kick right here we got a pedal um, it's automatic transmission so you got your Allison six-speed automatic transmission on here um, it does have reverse neutral and drive so what that means is it doesn't have a park um, button but in neutral, with your air brakes up, um, it is in park right now. Um, you do have an air supply here also for your trailer if your trailer does have um, air brakes. So you have your airline here as well. Um, all power windows, power mirrors, power doors. It does have heated mirrors, red differential lock. We also have a back dump also on this truck. So you could click that button here in the back actually tilts down to actually go into your trailer easily then raising your trailer all the way up to back into that. Um, you have a separate uh, switch here for your AC and heating for the back of the cab. So the blue, if you pull it down, it actually gives you that cold air. And if you bring it up to the red, it actually gives you that hot air for cold days or cold nights. It's got an extra fan here as well. Um, if you want more power or more airflow in the back, that switch does allow that power to go on here as well. You have your marker lights here. If when you pass in truckers and stuff like that, you just say thank you or hello, hi, bye, or whatever uh, you want to call that um, area here. Um, so down here, you get your AC control. Um, you have your trailer brake. It does come with a trailer brake system on here. Um, engine brake, it has two settings. It has high, all the way down is low and in the center is off. I remember recently selling a truck to a, a, a good customer of mine and his truck only had one trailer brake setting, which is kind of cool to let him know that it does have two different settings on here. Um, it comes with two different horns, the normal, you know, hello, hi, excuse me. And of course we got that big horn, like all truckers have to say, hey, get out of my way, I'm coming. Um, the light switch is on your left here. Uh, a lot of people like to look for it on on your on um, on the side here, but it's down here. Um, can you guys see that? Yeah. 
all right and then of course your windshield washer wipers are on the left here as well um, if you look here with all your controls here show all your gauges shows your transmission gauge your water gauge your oil um, your fuel level it, this vehicle does come with a six gallon depth tank and I'll show you guys where that's located but this is showing you you have a full depth um, tank so all the green lights are on as it goes down it just decreases how much depth you have so you just have to keep an eye on that while you're going down you got two airlines uh, primary and secondary and you could actually see P and S so primary and secondary and those are your air supplies here so you know how much pressure and how much air you have in there as well your backup camera is no longer on your uh, uh, CD player we have a private Voyager screen here for that and that could actually have a total of four cameras with the truck comes with one camera hookup so you have an additional three cameras you could hook up to this Voyager system right now we are hooked up to our gooseneck um, trailer hitch in the back so you could actually see uh, that hook up right here and you could actually see your your trailer while driving you know 24 7. if that's something you, you don't like in your face all the time you have the power off button here um, you could turn that off while driving but if you really want to see it anything happening or the way you back up you just turn it on um, it has four settings you got your one camera you got the number two camera three four and of course you could actually split the screens in one two and then one two three of course number one will be your main screen so when you when you do have three cameras number one would be the main screen on um, the main camera sorry and uh, of course you got four cameras one two three and four so only four cameras could be added onto this truck tons of room here storage room for your wallets phones anything you know you just want to rest here while driving a lot of people don't like to drive with their wallets in the back pocket so you could actually pull this out and actually rest this here if you look at the roof guys we try to design the roof you know so welcoming and nice and you know fancy um, you have your lights here your infinity lights um, it does come with a large screen for uh, the kids or whoever in the back want to watch some movies say hello Charles <laughs> um, so you have that also here for entertainment the entertainment with our Kenwood deck um, it does come with a subwoofer and two three-way speakers on the on the roof um, that actually comes with navigation Apple Play um, satellite radio DVD um, and CD player so you name it this deck has it so um, it's a very fancy deck it has everything um, for the modern day um, person like I said it does have Apple Play and Android Play so you could hook up your phones directly through that for hands-free calling um, you have your microphone right up here so you don't have to talk into the deck you could actually drive and actually uh, talk to that person without even you know worrying you know where to turn or to talk at um, the view here for safety we always like to show people how high we sit um, when it comes to our freight liners and you could actually see directly in front of you um, you know when you're driving so that's a big safety thing we we look out for when building those trucks so or trying to sell those trucks is a safety component of, of um, you know having having a truck like this compared to a pickup um, so large screen you could see everything you hardly have any blind spots on here so that's a plus so keep that in mind when purchasing um, one of our freight liners tons of storage and cup holders here you got a little storage here for you know purses or you could actually you know convert that into a nice little cooler if you want to you know put a plastic inside here and put some ice you know how it's done guys um, but that's just my option that's what something I would do if I had something like that right here um, but yeah so the back seat does fall into a bed which is kind of which is pretty cool because it saves you a lot of money when you know heading on long trips you could actually fold that down at a truck stop and actually take a nice rest um, while um, doing your adventures and stuff like that so I'm gonna we're gonna quickly go outside show you how this back seat folds into a bed and just kind of show you guys a few things outside and then if you guys have any questions of course you always reach out to me and I'll provide you guys with my information in a little bit all right so when it comes to the back seat we have a switch right here 
and makes it easy. It just folds all the way down. And you guys, you guys have a nice comfortable uh, bed right here. Put some nice sheets on there if you want to, or a little blanket. Or you, you can just lay on it the way it is. Just gonna pull that back up. Just gonna show you guys the amount of headroom you guys have in the, in the back and the front. You know how far it is from the roof. So if anything, any serious hole or anything like that, even though I fly up in the air, I, my head is still not touching the roof. Um, tons of room for your feet so you could actually have a comfortable um, ride um, as a passenger going to your different locations. Um, your pets could even, you could even come here easily and lay down. It all depends on what size of uh, animal you have. You know, your cats, your little puppies and stuff like that. They will fit here very comfortably. All right. As we take a look outside here, we're going to start up here. We have our batteries inside here. So um, your batteries are located right here. Your trickle charger for to charge your batteries when you're not in use. This is the def tank I was telling you guys about. It is a six gallon def tank. Um, you got two 50 gallon um, diesel tanks, 50 on this side, 50 on the other side. Um, if you just take a quick look here, we have our battery disconnect feature right up here. Most times people have it in the storage compartments with other competitors, but we have it directly um, below the driver's seat. So you could just switch, turn this around, turn the switch uh, anti-clockwise, and you can actually turn off all power to the truck. That would save you a lot of battery and stuff. Um, you have your air supply, like, on, like previously on the other one, on the passenger seat, you have it right here. Um, your cooling and heated seats, your lumbar, and this actually tilts the back the way you want it. So this, this control right here. Your key to start up the truck is right below there. So you could easily come on the morning or in the afternoon, whatever, start, it, start the truck up, warm it up while you get stuff organized on your trailers or whatever that case may be. Um, tires, it is a 2020, so it's all brand new tires on there. So we got the Michelin 255, 80, 22.5s. And all our tires and rims come with auto balances on there as well, which actually creates a smooth drive and actually gives you more life in your tires um, while driving. Um, with the engine, before we even open that up, you can actually see for your batteries because the batteries are located all the way in the back. So if you need to jump somebody or you jump, um, somebody need to jump you, um, you got your positive and negative um, jump st start studs right there. Gonna take a quick look at the engine. One thing about Freightliner, um, the way they design the engine is that everything is clearly labeled so you know exactly what is what. And I like to point that out every single video I do. Everything is clearly labeled so you could you cannot miss out on anything. Um, so this, this is the, uh, the Cummins 8.9 liter engine, uh, which is partnered with the Allison six speed automatic transmission. 3200TRV, um, beautiful engine, tons of power, um, and guys, like, I don't want to keep saying that over and over and making you, you know, okay, he says that, what does that mean? If you guys want to actually enjoy or, you know, understand what I'm saying on those videos, come on down, give us a call, you know, come and drive one of those trucks. Everybody that come down and, and actually drive those trucks, um, sometimes it's out of their budget, but just driving those trucks actually make them think like, you know what, if in, in the future, I wanna get one of those trucks. The price is right, you know, but some, like I said, the budget, sometimes people don't have the budget at the time, but some people could actually save up. Um, I've been working with customers for like, from the time I started here in February, and um, they're only now purchasing, you know, so it, it takes some time, you know, to actually invest in something like this, but it's a great investment, so you could, like I said, come on down, drive one of those trucks and actually feel and know what I'm talking about, and then you guys could actually make a decision, you know, for future reference on having a perfect truck that would last you a very long time, all right? So I'm just gonna close that here, I'm gonna pan in the front and kind of show you you know, when it comes to our Freightliner, 
our Summit Hollow conversion. We got a nice grill, which, is, which was made by the C9 company. Um, nice chrome um, bumper here is a three piece bumper. So if anything happens to any one of the three, um, you could actually change one instead of changing all. Um, you got your tow hooks here. Um, the two air horns on the top here, same freight liner. Those are where the, the big sound come from. I never point that out in my videos, so that's something I, I forgot. So these two on either side. Um, it does have an antenna here for your CB radio if you decide to put one in, in your truck. It has a line already installed in there, so all you have to do is just purchase a, a CB radio and actually hook it up to those trucks. Um, just going to take a look at the back here. This truck has tons of storage room. So we got three compartments on each side. And as you can see, it is hooked up to a Semeron toy hauler with living quarters. And you guys, you can see the combination right here. Like, just imagine this on the pickup. The pickup is this high and the trailer is this high. Having a truck like this, you can see almost, it's, the trailer is a little bit higher, but you can actually see how it rolls down the road. So going into like any sports shows or just in, into a campsite with that, all eyes will be on you. The questions will be like, oh my God, can I look inside? You know, people will get very nosy, people will get very envious, and of course they will try to buy those. So. I tried to match it up with a nice white Cimarron uh, toy hauler, which is actually cool. That actually makes a, a great combination. Um, with a gooseneck hook up here, quickly um, before we, we close up here, um, you have your chains for safety. You got your gooseneck hook up. Um, your seven pin here for power to the trailer. Um, if you want to add cameras to the Voyager system. That's the hook up here for three additional cameras. So you could actually plug in up, plug up here and send the camera to the front or to the back of this trailer so you actually see behind you. Um, you have tie downs if you, you know, need to put some bags in here or, you know, spare tires or whatever the case may be. Whatever you're going to be using is for hay or whatever. You have tie downs that is uh, adjustable on here as well. You do have a bumper pool. Um, compartment here right now we just put a, a nice plate on here to make it a clean look when you're not using the bumper pool and it does have that seven pin hookup on the bottom here as well all right so guys like I said if you have any questions we do have those Cimarron trailers in stock as well alongside our freight line